the entire nation was in a state of fear and panic. Before them was the sea. Behind them were the Mitzrim coming to get them. Moshe cries out to Hashem. The Pesach tells us, Vayomer Hashem el Moshe, Hashem says to Moshe, Matitzak Eli, why are you crying out to me? Why are you screaming out to me? Daber Bnei Yisrael, tell the Bnei Yisrael, be so. Tell them to go. Go into the water. And the question, of course, is why, Taka, did Moshe not say to the Bnei Yisrael, okay, don't worry, Hashem has got this one. It's going to be okay. After all, after all of the makos that Hashem already performed on behalf of the Jewish people, could they not believe that Hashem had one more? There was going to be one more miracle. And why didn't Moshe seem to believe that Hashem was going to perform a miracle? Says the Svas Emes, Moshe was confident that HaKadosh Baruch was going to save B'nai Yisrael. But Moshe was overcome with emotion when he saw the terror in the eyes of Klal Yisrael, when he saw the people crying, when he saw their desperation, even though he had faith in Hashem, that Hashem was going to save the people miraculously, Moshe acted on emotion and he screamed out to Hashem because he saw Bnei Yisrael, Bitzar, he saw Bnei Yisrael in pain. And when he saw them in pain, he had such ava, such love for them, that he cried out from his soul, to which Hashem responded, Moshe, Matitzak Eli, why are you screaming out to me? Just go! And that's why Moshe cried out to the Rabboni Shalom. What a lesson for us about Avas Yisrael, the love of our fellow Jew, and that we need to feel the pain of others and to incorporate that pain in our own personal tefillah. Every one of the brachos of our Shemona Esrei that we say every single day, three times a day, is in plural. Because it's not just about us as individuals, it's about all of us as Klal Yisrael. Last week as we took in Shabbos, we felt the pain of our brethren in Israel, of the people who Rahman al-Itzla never made it home for the Friday night Suda. Even though we are far away, we feel the pain of each other because that is what the love of Klal Yisrael is about. Certainly important for us to keep in mind when there are things that may bother us about other people, things may frustrate us, to keep in mind the fact that the Ava that Moshe showed for the Jewish people allowed the emotion to flow over the intellect and caused HaKadosh Baruch Hu to respond and caused us to learn a lesson of the great love that each of us needs to have for each other. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.